we have a rocket of mass 1200 kilograms and that accelerates vertically upwards from the surface of the earth with a value of 1.4 meters per second squared. So we're trying to work out the thrust in the rocket. So a common mistake in this question is just to use F is equal to MA with this mass and with this acceleration. The reason that wouldn't work is because what you work out by doing F is equal to MA with those two values is the resultant force on the rocket and the resultant force on the rocket is not the same thing as the thrust. So if that doesn't make sense, let's think about a force diagram. So let's say here is our rocket. The rocket has two forces acting upon it. We have the thrust force going upwards, which is unknown, I'll call that T. And then we also have a weight force. And the weight force is equal to 12,000 G. We know the rocket is accelerating upwards with a value of 1.4 meters per second squared. So, like I was saying before, the resultant force is not the thrust force. The resultant force will be a combination of these two. We know the object is accelerating upwards, and therefore the resultant force will also be upwards. And that resultant force would be T minus 12,000 G. This will be the overall upwards force. And if that's the resultant upwards force, it's this that is then equal to MA. So this is equal to 1,200, 12,000 rather, multiplied by A. So we rearrange this equation and then we get our answer. So T is equal to 12,000 times 1.4 plus 12,000 times 9.8, 1. And this gives us 1.3 times 10 to the 5 newtons. So our answer will be C.